Okay, in this video we are going to use a network tool called NetStat to take a look and see if we can find potentially any malware or um, services that are running. So, um, we're talking about services, we're talking about um, daemons, um, programs, applications that are providing a service to other people. Things would be like a web server, a, a file server, an FTP server, things of that nature. So um, whenever you have a service running on a machine, um, on a network, it has to have a port. So we'll get to our terminal and we will run the netstat command and we will pass it the option of NVAT and we'll hit enter. And here we can see um, we have a couple columns. The ones we're really concerned about here is uh, the protocol, the local address, and then right after the address, there's a colon and some numbers. Um, and then some of the foreign address. But for today, we're just really, really focused on this right here. Um, in particular, what's after the colon. So essentially this is indicating that on this machine um, we have port 80 open, port 21 open, port 53, port 22, port 631, etc. We we need to be concerned, let's say this is a uh, just a workstation, it's not supposed to provide any server services. Um, we we want to make sure that nothing's running that that, that could be a, called a server. Um, so for example, um, you know, a web server. So if I just open up my browser and I go to localhost right here, um, it pulls up the default web page of Apache. Um, now. HTTP runs on port 80. That's what web pages are, and that's what we see here. So at this point, um, when we run this netstat command, we can see we have a web server running. Um, now, if you're not sure of what the numbers are, mean, you know what this port 21 is, 22, 53, etc. There's a couple ways of, of looking at this. One is instead of putting the N at the the front we just run it without the end. And the end says show it to us numerically. If we run it without the end, it's going to go in and interpret what the the protocol is running. So here that first one of 80 is HTTP, the 21 is FTP, the 53 is domain for DNS, 22 is um, SSH. Now where it's getting that information from and where else you can see it is if you look at the Etsy services file. So here we go. Here's the FTP 21, the SSH 22. We scroll down to 80 and we see HTTP. Now one thing you'll notice is there's both TCP and UDP. Well the other thing that when we ran this is we ran it with a v the UDP ports. So there's TCP and there's UDP. So Let's run it NVAUT. And so now we're doing it numerically, showing both TCP and UDP ports. So, again, at this point, we know we have a web server running, um, and we'll find out how to see what the actual program is in a minute. Uh, we saw we had an FTP server, we have an SSH server. It would look like we have a DNS server, but the way a clients is a little goofy. So if you see this, 53, don't worry about it. 631 is for printing. And then all these really high ports, anything above 1024 ports, those are usually where you'll see a server running. Above 1024, these are the ports that you're connecting to of a, a remote system and their well-known port. So here, we're connecting to this site, port 
port 80 and this is the port we're using on our side so here we have three connections to the same system and we have three open ports so we're not concerned about these at this point um, okay so um, I said you'd be able to tell what programs were, were running this so again we can still run netstat and if we run um, basically what's called tulip T-U-L-P and we'll throw in the N as well and hit enter and let me just make this big so we can see everything um, what we should see here is the PID or the program name now you don't see anything right now because we didn't run it as a super user um, so if we run it as a super user now we'll be able to see all the programs so here we can see Apache so Apache is the web server and it's running under PID process ID of 3804 so if we killed that so if we do kill minus 9 3804 oh, we gotta do that as sudo now if we go back here and we attempt to reload this page it shouldn't work but it did so why is that well let's run this command one more time and look well that's because Apache respawned itself we killed it and it respawned so it restarted um, VSFTP, a uh, very secure file transfer protocol daemon. If I was uh, wanting to ensure that this system was being used as a workstation only and didn't have any server services, these are two of the programs I'd want to remove. Um, SSHD, I'd likely want to remove as well. This is the secure shell daemon. Um, CUPS is the printing subsystem that's very typical DNS mask um, is typical on a client so what we see here the ones that we're concerned with is Apache 2 VSFTPD and potentially SSHD I, in a competition I'd probably go ahead and, and um, remove those now um, we identified services but you know how would we be able to tell if there's any malware running so let's go ahead and uh, kind of fire up what was sometimes thought of as now malware but kind of really isn't so if we run netcat so I want to run netcat in a listen mode and I want to run it on port one two three four and then I'll go ahead and open up a new terminal and now I'll go ahead and connect so I only just use telnet and I'll telnet to localhost on port one two three four It helps if I spell it right. Localhost one two three four. All right, so now I'm connected, and you see both windows open at this time. So let's just say hello, and you can see how that's uh, mirrored in the window below. And now let's just say goodbye. And now I'm going to go ahead and escape out of this, and I'll go ahead and quit. 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 Now, when I quit because I didn't run this with a, a specific switch, it, it closed that out. We'll go ahead and rerun that. So now I have that port open again. And let's do net stat minus T U L P N. And let's make this nice and big so we can see it all. And hit enter. And there we go. We see port 1234. And we see is process ID 7131 with the program name of netcat now I can see this but nothing else because again I didn't run it as sudo if we run it as sudo we'll see all of them I could see that one because I ran netcat under under the current user um, so you see this then you know hey I got netcat running somewhere I got to find it and again here it is it's process 7131 so let's go ahead and shrink this up, move this over, and now if we do the kill minus 9, 7131, we're going to see it close that window. And we see down here it says killed. Um, and since I'm able to pretty much from anywhere type in NC and it knows what I'm doing about, it's in my path. So one way of finding where that file may be is with the command 
which NC. I hit enter and it's going to tell me where that file is. That's an easy way of finding the uh, NC file. So hopefully um, that gives you some ideas and I think that's enough for this video. So thank you.